Salt Lake City. Those three words prompted a collective cheer today from those involved in local government, tourism, economic development, sports, and the Olympics. That's because the U.S. Olympic Committee selected Salt Lake as its bid city for a future Winter Olympics. Word reached Utah today with a phone call to the mayor's office. ABC 4's John Dupree was there, and John, a lot of work went into this, right? Oh yeah, Don, a year of work in earnest, but the groundwork began a long time ago, as soon as the 2002 Winter Games ended. Ready? Two, three! Yeah. 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 We won! The news conference began with a cheer. Woo. We won the nomination to be the U.S. Bid City. The USOC just called me and uh, let it be known that they have chosen Salt Lake for a potential future Winter Olympic and Paralympic bid on behalf of the United States of America. The people of Utah want us to be able to do this again. They remember the success we had in 2002. Success that didn't end with the closing ceremonies. Very quietly, a very small group of people went to work, laying the groundwork for future Winter Games, forming and funding the Legacy Foundation for future Olympics Games. Fraser Bullock was the COO of the 2002 Olympics Organizing Committee and the brains behind the beginnings of the Legacy Movement. There are two important parts to the Legacy. One is the venues. And that is where we set aside $76 million at the end of our games to be able to support these venues going forward. And now we see the most utilized venues in the entire world, which is very different than what we see in other cities. With world-class bobsled runs, ice skating ovals, and other competition venues, the Utah Sports Foundation driving worldwide competitions and tourism to the venues, a soon-to-be expanded Rice-Eccles Stadium, and overwhelming support from citizens, Utah won the day. So when will Utah have a chance to host the Olympic Winter Games of 2030? The uh, IOC will make its decision in early 2023, 2030, the first opportunity Salt Lake City will have. Organizers say they'll start working toward winning that bid first thing Monday morning. They need to celebrate a little more. They deserve it. And uh, maybe a weekend to rest up.